Now, a joint task force seeking to get rid of smuggled vegetable oil from the Ghanaian market says it will soon turn its attention to unlabeled palm oil. This follows what it says has been a successful sensitization and clampdown on suspected smuggled vegetable oil. Coordinator of the task force, Paul Laman, in Tel City News, the task force will shift its focus on palm oil in April after rolling out measures to have producers properly brand their products. Here's more. The anti-smuggling task force for the past few days waged war against smuggled vegetable oil on the Ghanaian market. Friday's operations primarily focused on the Medina market where the task force embarked on a thorough inspection of shops within the market ultimately leading to the seizure of over 300 suspected smuggled vegetable oil. Coordinator of the anti-smuggling task force Paul Aminin noted that the exercise is achieving its desired impact. What we are doing is to create pub public awareness on the issue of smuggling and the safety of the food that you are eating. And uh, we started it on Monday. Um, we see some vegetable oil, cassoir and the rest. But as we move on, we've seen improvement of the local brands like Frytor, King's Oil uh, and the rest coming up. That tells you that the public or the marketers are reacting to the information that they are getting. They are not ready to sell the smuggling goods again from the indication. When we came to Medina Market, we all can see that. We can see cane soil, you can see fried oil now coming out. But when we went to Kaswa, uh, 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 99% was adult, uh, what smuggled items, what was very bad. Uh, we are able to get close to between 300, 500 gallons of vegetable oil for further investigations. So we are sending them to the warehouse and probably those, the owners need to go and get the custom for crayons. When you bring your document, we are there to release it for you. But mind you, you have to show us your FDA license, that your product is licensed. If it's not, you have to go through the process again. Paul Aminin further served the notice that a team will conduct unannounced swoops in the greater Accra region while hinting at plans by the task force to begin clamping down on the sale of unbranded palm oil over adulteration concerns. Those who are still keeping the oil that they think they will sell through the other means. The police, I'm going to also inform the police to do the checkpoints. So when you are transporting it to your houses, they will get you arrested. So that one, I'm, I'm going to do it. Palm oil is a big challenge that we started addressing it. Um, you know, they, they've been adulterating the oil with Sudan for dye since 2015 when it was identified. So the association, oil, uh, APOMA, which is Artisanal Palm Oil Millers and Agro Association, we came in in partnership with FDA to design a program and develop an application that for any customer can verify the, the one who is producing the oil. So you just need your what, uh, your phone, you go Google Artisanal Palm Oil Palm app, it will come. When you buy any oil, you scan the, buy the clear code and the picture of the one who is producing the oil will pop up. So if there's any adulteration, then FDA will take it up. It was launched, uh, I think, 2021. And we are now waiting for the enforcement. But because of the agency of the vegetable oil, we started with the vegetable oil. By going forward, we are going to continue. Maybe ne probably next month. We start making sure that everyone producing the palm oil is being labeled from the producer. So if you are buying from Kede, wherever you are buying, you have to make sure it's being packaged. You don't put in those drums. That one is, is seized. We will take it from you. So we are working on that one too. Meanwhile, the team has begun reviewing documentation of seized suspected smuggled vegetable oil on its past operations. As at now, uh, Plak and uh, Mr. Kezin has been cleared by GRE. Our work is to identify your work as a customer, uh, 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 an importer, to go and confirm from FDA, uh, sorry, uh, GRE. They've done that. They've sent me the document, but they have to go through another process. The process is you have to go, we have to check whether you have your FDA license. If you don't have it, you need to have it before you take your oil. 